Hi, I'm Simon. And I'm Mathieu. Browsing and searching in semantic annotated databases can be very difficult for non-specialists. Many of you have certainly have heard about Web3 with semantic web technologies like ontologies, LDF, and all. Unfortunately, current systems to search and navigate in this new web are very user-friendly and pretty painful to use. That's why we decided to build our own system. We named it the Cormit system. By the way, Cormit stands for Collaborative Media Exchange Terminal and uses a new concept called Spotlets. Spotlets enable us to call functions such as MP3 player, YouTube video player or live personalized community functions. We will use the semantic annotated objects extracted from the iPhone detected by a webcam placed over the table. The underlying concept of ontology mapping and matching is done by our connected ODP middleware. Now we will show you how to extract objects by speech. The speech input Show me all pop albums initiates a call to our middleware. Then I can drag and drop the album to the MP3 player spotlet. Of course you can drop albums, songs or artists on the spotlet. The music is played. You can extend your workbench by adding more spotlets to your graphical user interface. Let's say you would like to watch a video clip corresponding to an artist contained in my iPhone. I like the gorillas. So I drag and drop the semantic annotated object gorillas onto the YouTube spotlet. Directly after the release of my finger, a request is made to YouTube. The first five results will be displayed. Now, to watch the video, I just need to move an object onto the player, like this. Of course, you can do many things with semantic annotated objects, such as looking for web service mashups of Last.fm, Seekpot or Music Brains. You got the best tracks based on recommendations or your profile settings. The Comet system is a new multimodal paradigm to navigate with and through semantic annotated objects with new interactions such as voice or gestures. In our next video, we'll show you new interactions with our Comet system.